YouTube workout buddies and welcome to this week's workout. So today we are doing an upper body rep based strength training slash weightlifting style workout to really get those, you know, those upper body gains. And we're also going to throw in a little bit of Tabata cardio in just for good measure. So the way this workout is going to work is we've got a set, uh, we've got a circuit of nine different exercises and we're gonna do three sets of those nine different exercises. And in between each set, we've got a four minute Tabata cardio, kind of like lower body cardio focused um, Tabata session. So that'll really help us get our heart rate up and just add in a little bit of cardio in a otherwise more strength focused um, workout. So for this workout, you'll need um, some various weights. Uh, I'm gonna be using my 20 pound kettlebell and I'll also be using my set of dumbbells which are about um, eight to 10 pounds, I believe. So if you have a couple different, you won't need a super heavy dumbbell for this, just you know, a couple different types of weights and you'll also need uh, two chairs and you'll also need a resistance band, but just for the warm up. So if you don't have a resistance band for the warm up, that's okay. I'll just show you what you can do instead. But if you have a resistance band, um, go grab it. And you'll also need, yeah, I said two chairs already, right? Yes, okay. Okay, so we've got a four minute warm up, and then we're gonna get started with the first set of strength exercises. So let's get to it. All right, guys, here we go. We're starting with the warm up. Four minutes. Kind of get the blood pumping a little bit, warm up the shoulders and the chest, and yeah, let's go. We're gonna start with jumping jacks, so let's go. And make sure you guys let me know in the comments if you like this style of workout. I haven't really done very many like focused upper body rep based workouts. So yeah, let me know if you want more like this. It is slightly harder to really target your back at home, I find, just um, rather than at the gym. But I've, th I've thrown a few exercises in there that will target the back. Um, you know, biceps and triceps and chest is pretty easy to do at home, but okay, grab your resistance band. Uh, we're gonna do shoulder circumduction. If you don't have a resistance band, you're just gonna do this without the resistance band. So you're just going to circle forward and back. If you're using your band, you're gonna have a slight tension in the band, pulling the band apart slightly. Getting those shoulder joints ready. We've got some handstand work and some L sits, some dips, some push ups, some shoulder presses, some rows. So make sure the shoulders are nice and lubricated and warm. Five seconds left. <clears throat> Good. Okay, so this next exercise, we're gonna do a band pull apart. So again, if you don't have the resistance band, you're just gonna do this like mind muscle connection without the band. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the band in front of you, hold the band around like chest level, and then use your upper back. Your scapula should be retracted, and you're gonna pull the band apart. Show you from the side. So if you're not using the band, you're just going to do this motion, but slowly and with control and sending that mind muscle connection to your back and you should be feeling it right in here. Almost there. Good. Okay, you won't need the resistance band for anything else, so you can put it down. Last exercise is just some easy knee push-ups just to get us ready to do more push-ups. 
So you don't need to go too hard or too fast. We're just warming up. Keep good form, nice solid core. Elbows going down to a 45 degree angle. Um, when you're doing push-ups, make sure your hands are really wide and your arms aren't going out to the side like this. That's not really proper push-up form. You want your palms underneath your shoulders and your elbows going kind of at a 45 degree angle. From your body, that is. set of exercises. Okay, for our first exercise, we're starting with push-ups, just basic push-ups. We're really just gonna focus on maintaining the best prop possible form. So you're not going to be sagging through your hips or having your butt way up high in the air. You're gonna just start in one straight body line, squeezing your core, squeezing your glutes, and coming down so that your nose touches the ground, and then right back up. Okay, we're going for 15 reps. Do as many as you can off of your toes, and if you need to switch to your knees to finish the set, that is a-okay. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Good job. All right, moving on to kneeling overhead press. So you can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell for this. I'm going to be using my 20 pound kettlebell. And just a note, if those 15 reps of push-ups were easy for you, in the next round, put your feet elevated or do one-legged push-ups. Okay, so for the kneeling overhead press, you're gonna have your hips level, core braced, and press it up. One, 12 reps, two, three, four, Five. Ooh, I gotta switch to my dumbbell. I didn't think that it would be that hard. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whew. All right, we're gonna switch arms. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Next up, we've got dips. And for dips, we're gonna do as many reps as possible. Going for a max set. Okay, so for dips, and let's, let's go with the hardest variation possible that you can do. So the hardest variation will be with your feet out. Um, to make it easier, you can bring your knees in or your feet in. And when you're doing dips, you want to make sure that your elbows are going straight back, not out to the side. And that your back is staying close to the bench. All right, let's do this. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, all right, 18. Whew. Okay, next up we've got rear delt fly. So you're gonna grab your dumbbells and we're gonna go for 12 reps. That might be a little bit difficult for me with these, but I'm gonna try to go for 12 reps, but you guys uh, make sure you, well, you'll see, we haven't done this exercise before, so you'll just see, but let's aim for 12 reps. And then in the second and third set, if you need to pick a lighter weight or a heavier weight, you can adjust. So you're gonna bend over, 45 degree angle, and your arms should be at a 90 degree angle, and you're gonna raise it up like this. So I'm gonna show you from the back. And from the front, this is targeting our rear delt. Okay, oh man, my arms are already tired, my shoulders are already tired just from that. All right, here we go. I don't know how many reps I'm gonna get, but let's see. Here we go. Let's bend over, keep the back flat, and let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, whew, yeah, 10. I'll probably just use five pound plates for the next set. I like never do this exercise, so <laughs> I feel kind of like a weakling with it. Okay, next up we have uh, L-sit hold. So I'm gonna be using my, my push-up handles. If you don't have push-up handles, you're gonna use two chairs, like I mentioned in the intro, and you're going to position yourself between the two chairs and then you're going to hold yourself up and you're either going to just do a knee tuck hold or you're going to do the full L sit hold like this. Okay. And I'm going to set the timer for one minute. Um, but obviously I can't do this move for a minute without taking rest. So we're just going to practice the move for a minute in whatever variation you want and take rest when you need to. Okay. Whew. So, the timer list, stopwatch. Okay, ready? Get into position and start. So one minute and time's count going. a one-legged L-sit and keep switching legs. Or just hold that tuck hold. Oh my gosh. 20 seconds left, keep going guys. annoy me when they're not in hammer position. <laughs> so, 21, so we're gonna start with seven bottom halves. So, one, so that means halfway up, all the way down. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Now you're going to start halfway up and go all the way to the top. One, and only go down halfway. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now all the way up, all the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Take a quick break. Next up, we've got plank rows. So you're gonna use your chair and get into a plank position. And we're going to just, you can either use your dumbbell or your kettlebell. We're going to brace the core, squeeze the glutes, and row. And while you're doing that, it's really important to try not to rotate through your hips. Keep everything super stable, super solid. We're going for 10 on each arm. So let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Short rest. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, now we've got twenty. Kettlebell swings. I'm going to be using my heavier kettlebell. So if you have a heavier one, this is the time to use it. You can use a heavy dumbbell as well. 20 reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, you're hinging from your hips. One, push those hips forward and squeeze your glutes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, our last exercise in the circuit is a wall handstand hold. If you've never done a handstand before, then we're gonna do a wall plank instead. So what you're gonna do, I'm just gonna make sure my door is shut properly. <laughs> I like tried to do a handstand and the, sh the door wasn't shut properly and the door opened and I almost like killed myself, seriously. <laughs> so you're gonna come to the wall and put your feet up on the wall. And if you've never done this before, you just stay there. If you have a little bit of experience, you can walk your hands closer to the wall, just whatever, as far as you feel comfortable, and then hold for as long as you possibly can. If you've done handstands before, you feel comfortable doing them against the wall, I'm out of breath, then join me. We're just gonna hold as long as possible. Okay, let me just get my breath back. All right, here we go. Make sure you're pushing the ground, the floor away from you. And really, through the core 
glutes, everything should be squeezed. <laughs> okay, good. All right guys, we've done the circuit once. Now we're gonna do a little bit of Tabata. Okay guys, for our Tabata section, we're doing high knees and mountain climbers. So very basic moves. Get ready. We've got four minutes of cardio. Here we go. We're starting with high knees. So brace the core and get those knees up. Point the toes and breathe. Five seconds. Good. Come down into a plank. And we're gonna do mountain climbers. Here we go. Five seconds. Good. Whew. Back to high knees. Here we go. Come on, get those knees up. Good job. Let's get back into our plank. Brace that core. A few more seconds. We're halfway done. High knees. Here we go. push-up bars for it. I'm going to try. Almost there. Good. Yeah, I like it with the push-up bars. It's a little better on the wrist. Okay, high knees. Last time for high knees, you guys. Let's go. Get them up. Good. Last set of mountain climbers. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, Nice work. All right, kneeling overhead press. I'm gonna use the dumbbell, not the kettlebell. 12 reps. Brace the core. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo! Brutal. All right. Other side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whew. All right, dips as many reps as possible. All right, I did 18 on the first round. Let's see how many I can do on the second round. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ah, seven, seventeen and a half. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, next up, oh, I need to get my five pound plates out. Next up, we're doing those rear delt flies that are deceivingly difficult. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what weight you guys use. Cause these dumbbells are, I guess they're like, I think they're eight pounds. Cause I've got two threes and I think the thing weighs two pounds. So eight pounds, but now I'm switching to five. So let me know what weight you guys are using for this exercise, just out of curiosity. Okay, bend over 45 degree angle, elbows, Bent, 45, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh my gosh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Feeling it. You guys feeling it? All right. Oh gosh, the dreaded L-sit hold. I don't know, are, are you dreading it? I'm dreading it. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna hold it for as long as I can, which will probably be like 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna just like switch it up with little tuck holds and single leg holds, so. Just try to rest as little as possible for this one minute. Um, yeah. Hang on, don't start yet. I know you're eager. Okay, and go. So exhausting. 
exhausting, right? I'm just gonna switch it up with tuck and single leg. We're at 30 seconds, guys. Straight arms. 10 seconds left. Good. I feel like that's like the most difficult exercise out of this whole set. Ah. All right. It like wins me the most, even though we're not really moving, right? We're just holding, it's so hard. <sighs> All right, let's do some biceps. Bicep 21s. I'm just gonna get these guys out of the way. Okay. All right, do you guys remember how to do the 21s? Seven reps from the bottom to halfway. Seven reps, halfway to the top. Seven full reps. Let's go. Bottom halves first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Top halves. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up, all the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Great job. All right. Next up, plank rows. All right. Get your chair ready. Oh, I almost grabbed my 35 pound kettlebell for that. I'm like, uh uh. That is definitely not happening. Okay, here we go. Brace your core, squeeze your glutes. One. Don't rotate. Two, elbow comes straight up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Ready? All right. One, squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes. Two, elbow going straight up to the ceiling. Three, four, don't twist. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, you guys. Next up, 20 kettlebell swings. So for this, you're gonna grab your heavier one. And let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Catch your breath. Last exercise. Wall handstand hold. <sighs> 
So whatever variation you're doing, I'm just gonna hold it as long as possible. So I'm gonna catch my breath a tiny bit. All right, let's go. Remember to push the floor away from you. Keep your arms super straight, locked out. Squeeze your core and hold. Tabata set. Okay, for our second round of Tabata, we're again doing two super basic simple moves, squat jumps and switch lunges. If you have knee issues or you don't want to jump, you can hold a heavy weight and just do regular squats, holding the weight as many as you can in 20 seconds. And then for switch lunges, you can hold two dumbbells and do alternating reverse lunges, all right? But if you, uh, yeah, if you don't have issues, then come with me and let's jump around like crazy people for a little, for four minutes. Here we go, 10 second countdown. We're gonna start with squat jumps. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Remember to hinge at your hips, power up through those legs. Keep your chest up and your core braced. Seven seconds. Oh man, not really sure what I was thinking with this. I think this is gonna be brutal. Switch lunges. Oh my goodness, if you need a break, just go back to regular lunges. Oh my gosh. Oh. Squat jumps, here we go. Ready? Here we go. lunges. You can slow it down a little bit. Almost there. Ooh. That was quite ambitious of me to plan this combo. Back to squat jumps. Oh my gosh. Whew. Four seconds. Nice work. Switch lunges. guys. Oh, do you hate me? I kind of hate myself right now for planning this. <sighs> Last set of squat jumps. <sighs> ah. 
four seconds. Good. Last set of switch lunges. Mm. Last 20 seconds, you guys. Come on, just give it your all. Brace that core. Five seconds. Awesome work. You did it. Take a little rest. We've got round three coming at you. All right, guys. Third and final round of our circuit. So, we're starting with 15 push-ups. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna use my push-up handles again because I actually really like doing push-ups with them. I always kind of get loose though. I need, I need a screw. Okay, that should work for now. All right, guys, let's get started. 15 reps, squeeze the core, squeeze the glutes, body in a straight line, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, good job, Whew. next up, kneeling overhead press. You're gonna grab your dumbbell and let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to 12, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, oh gosh. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, Whew. great, dips, as many reps as we can, all right, I got 17 and a half on my last round, I'm going to go for 16 this time or as many as I can, yeah. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Remember your form. Elbows going straight back. Stay close to that bench. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, Three, four, five, six. Oh, yes, did it. Okay, rear delt fly. Using my five pound plates. So shoulders back and down. Bend over, hinge at your hips, 45 degree angle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right. Next up. Oh no, it's the else it hold. Oh. Okay. So much. But, you know, good news. This is the last time we have to do this. <laughs> so, let's really give it our all, okay? <sighs> I feel like, yeah. Okay, you guys ready? I'm just gonna rest for like one more minute. One more, 10 more seconds. <sighs> okay, here we go. Starting the timer. Oops. Timer is going. Alright guys, 10 more seconds. Let's do it. <sighs> you did it. We did it. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of that one. If you're doing it with the chairs or the push-up handles, let me know what you thought. If you were dying, it's ridiculously hard for me. Okay. All right, next up, bicep 21s. These are a walk in the park compared to what we just did. Here we go. Bottom halves for seven. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, top halves, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, full, all the way down, all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job. Put the dumbbells down. And now we are doing our plank rows. So let's get into position. Get that weight handy. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. Don't rotate. One, elbow going straight back. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We do the other side. Again, we're going for ten reps. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Kettlebell swings. 
20 reps. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right. Last exercise. Wall handstand hold. So let's just take a quick moment to rest a little bit. Have some water. And let's get ready. Yeah, and you'll have to let me know whether you like these workouts where I'm incorporating like the handstand stuff and the L-sit stuff. If you guys like it, yeah, let me know. Because I can do more. Okay, let's go. Get into position. Hold, push the floor away from your hands and your hands should not be flat, they should be kind of like grabbing the floor. Arms straight, lock them out. balance of like holding it as long as you can and not holding it so long that you lose control and like crash land right <sighs> okay catch your breath we've got our final Tabata section okay guys final Tabata section and we are done so these last two moves are gonna be tuck burpees um, no push-up we're just gonna go into a plank how back Pop in, tuck, and then uh, if you don't want to do a tuck jump, you can either just do a squat jump or just do a squat. Um, and then our other move is going to be three low squat hops. So one, keep it low, two, three, and then after the third one, we're going to do a heel flick. Okay, so it's one, two, three, heel flick. All right, yeah, let's just see how we do. Here we go, 10 seconds to count down. We're gonna start with the tuck burpees, okay? And let's go. Land soft, brace your core, and get those knees up. Now, get ready for your legs to burn. That's all I can say. Get low. One, two, three, and hop, heel click. One, two, three, and heel click. Yeah, burning. Definitely burning. One, two, three, heel click. Okay, back to the tuck burpees.
squat hops, one, two, you're staying low, three, and then power up. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath. One, two, three, and power. One, two, all right, saved by the bell. We're halfway done. Back to the tuck burpees. Make sure your core is solid when you're hopping back into that plank. Don't let your low back sag. Good. Three low squat jumps, one heel click. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. Ah, all right, we did it. Two more intervals, guys. Tuck burpees. Knees up. Good job. Okay, last 20 seconds, you guys. I want you to bring it. Get low. Hop. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. One. Okay, we did it. Oh, well done you guys, you killed it, or did it kill me, I'm not sure, okay, don't forget to stretch, drink lots of water, give this video, video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, thank you so much for working out with me, if you enjoy my free workouts, consider supporting me on Patreon if you want. Um, I do monthly workouts where you guys get to vote on what you want me to do, so it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy composing that workout every month. So yeah, don't forget to stretch, drink lots of water, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.